Greetings, my name is Piero and welcome back to the Neon Slice. Today, I'm picking up where we left off with Tormented Souls. Um, I did do something off camera though, I cleared out some rooms and that, by that I mean I killed some enemies. Uh, because I was having so much trouble uh, starting this recording, because uh, I kept dying, so I decided to just go around and kill a bunch of guys. And I moved this thing, I don't know if I showed that last episode. Um, but yeah, I ended up uh, with this inventory, which should be the same inventory that I had last time. Uh, but as you can see, this area is completely clear now. Uh, the guys that I killed are right there. As you can see, they kind of get glitched on stairs, so I just kind of took advantage of that and shot them. Uh, I did take damage. As you can see, I am in caution mode. But yeah, so this door is locked from the other side. So let's head into the, the kitchen here. Um, I have been here already in one of the runs that I did, um, fail runs that I died, so there's nothing much here, there's just a fridge, and there is, it says that it's freezing cold, so maybe I can put something in there, I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, if you're enjoying the series, please leave a comment down below saying that you like it, because this series doesn't get that many views, people don't come to my channel for this kind of thing, so I'm just doing this for the people who the few people who do actually enjoy this and all you Resident Evil fans that are not that many uh, on my channel anymore but you know anyway uh, I appreciate you regardless even if you're a new viewer you won't leave this place uh, that, that was directed to you by the way I was just reading uh, charred remains are these human bones what the hell is going on here it smells awful so that is that to me it's like a throwback to Resident Evil um, 7 Kind of where you open, as Ethan, you open the 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 pot and there's like dirty stuff in there. So there is a guy in here. So I realize that if they don't see you... Okay, he saw me. Which is annoying. I don't think I need to kill him. So we have a Wildburger Hospital door security system. Search this to write new keyword. We need a... We need a, a floppy disk. Um, there's a solution here. A bottle of nitric acid that can corrode metal over time. Alright, he is very swift. There's some ammo in the corner there. But yeah, he's easily avoidable. So, there we go, get the ammo. You can also bait their attacks as well. Unlock the door. This door brings us back to the chapel. An iron door knocker shaped like a hand holding a ball. Now, I don't know where this goes yet. So we'll figure it out together. I think this area is clear. I think I cleared it. But I'm not sure yet. There's a room in here called the closet. There's some ammo in here. We have a battery can fit here, so I guess to charge it. There's a lot of things that I'm finding that are not completable yet. That was a strange sound. Okay, so as you can see, we're back here. Now, I this is where I don't know what to do. So I found the Jesus that fell, out of, fell from the cross. But I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I guess that'll be a... When I enter the mirror dimension, that'll be an actual body. Yeah, a lot of things that are statues and babies, I've come to realize they're actual real people. Insert coin. I don't have any change. Oh, interesting. I actually did not expect a vending machine. Oh, is this a healing maybe? Healing station. Interesting. Hmm. We have a map of this area. So we are currently in the chapel right there. The archives, I haven't gone to the archives yet. Is this the archives? Oh, the handle won't budge. There are symbols above the keyhole. Nothing happens. <laughs> Inter 
interesting. There are symbols. So C and uh, and then there's like an asterisk shape. Is this asterisk shaped? No. It looks like it can hang from something. Okay, so I'm gonna need something else. Wow, this game is actually pretty interesting. So let's check downstairs. I don't think this will I don't think there's anything down here that I can do. I've already been down here. This is locked from the other side. I think that's the morgue. Yeah, and floppy disk. It's like Yeah, I'm not going there. That's the troll. What about here? Nope. Just gasoline. But uh yeah, this will be a very long episode. So hope you're gonna enjoy this um, for the reason that you know not many people watch this series so might as well just make it into a live stream type of thing so you can come back to it you don't have to finish it in one sitting but I hope you come back to the video and finish it because trust me this this game is very worth it this game is awesome um, so that's another one that opens from the other side it's locked from the other side. What's going on here? A sculpture of an angel comforting her grieving sister. Interesting. The meeting room. It's locked from the other side. How can a hatch be locked from the other side? I mean, I guess that makes sense, but still. slot for for a VHS tape I haven't found any keys key items yet I am actually surprised I'm on the second floor corridor a map of this area okay so there is there's a safe room here second floor corridor the swing, the sewing room, the sewing room. There's another floppy disk key. Oh yes, thank God. I'm gonna eat that. I don't wanna be in caution. I'm gonna run as fast as I can. Pick this up. I think I did this last time. Yeah, so this dude is right here. He won't let me in. So I gotta find a way to deal with him. But I don't know if I can. Like, set him on fire or something. Is that the only way in? I could access from the bedroom. Go into the penthouse, into the children's- Oh no, there's a children's room. Oh god. That is- very spooky, and I do not like that. The, the the armors the armors from Resident Evil 4 always spooked me, and these also spook me. My god. Jesus lord. I am not very fond of that. I am not- I am- I am actually getting a little bit of triggered. There we go. That's how you solve that puzzle. So these are... These people are doors, basically. And I bet you there's one that you can just skip. Oh, I never thought... I never found a use for this. An old photograph of two young twins. I guess I did. Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. Heaven. I guess I'll kill this dude. Or girl. You dead? Oh, nice. That's convenient. Um, this is the sewing room. Okay. This is another safe room. Very nice. I should have saved here. Uh, Maria Wild Wildberger's Diary. 
April 25th, 1967. William returns from his week-long trip today. I can see his car from my window, slowly drawing clo closer. I was unable to go with him for I was not feeling well. What am I supposed to do now? What should I tell him? Probably nothing. One look, one look will be enough. It won't be necessary for me to say anything at all. Hiding my face or staying silent will only postpone the inevitable. Before I have the chance to sweeten my words, they will stab him with the ugly truth. He will look at me and know. You lost the baby, didn't you, Maria? Oh, interesting. Wow, that's only slightly creepy. My footsteps also cannot be heard here. Oh, nice. A harp. A stethoscope used to listen to a heartbeat. <laughs> oh my god. Yep. Man, this is crazy. I never understood the appeal of abstract art. <laughs> oh, nice. It's pretty good art. Hello, doll that's following me everywhere. At the top of the shelf. So I guess they don't have a sound file for walking on the surface. Yeah. Okay, so this is the safe room, so... The sewing room. Come on. I guess I'll keep going. Jesus fucking Christ. I don't like that. Why do you have to do me like that? What does that have to exist? I have some uh, nails, please. Okay. Oh, hey. Oh, I'm knocking on the door. Only those who know the beating heart of John Gibson's cre create. Only those who know the beating heart of John Gibson's creation may, may enter. That's an interesting way of solving a puzzle. I really like that, actually. John Gibson. I swear these statues, if they come alive. It's it's very the imagery is a lot about maternity. It's locked from the other side, really? There's another way around? The stethoscope. I would need I will need the stethoscope for something. All these rooms that are red. Um I turn it back off. Oh god. This armor almost seems alive. No shit, Sherlock. Hmm. Don't have the disc. Don't know what. Oh, I know what to do. Okay. I just remembered that we found a statue that had a heart in it. And they. Showed us the x-ray of the heart. So let's do that. Need to find out the heartbeat of the... Of the thing. The statue. Oh, there's no way around? Oh, there's a hole in the ground. And the planks. Does that sound familiar to anyone watching? Alright, I'm gonna listen very carefully. One three one one. 
very, very spooky. I know I'm saying that a lot, but I'm actually like very intrigued, but also scared. Scared of the unknown. Oh, there's a guy here. Typewriter. You can save your progress here. <laughs> they even have the ink ribbon next to it. Oh, Jesus Christ. Someone's here. And they're alive. Awful torture machines. They don't appear to have been used in a very long time. Hey, that's the mask. Isn't that, doesn't that reminisce from the, ma the mask from Resident Evil 1? Tragedy News. A newspaper article from November 19... For November 12th, 1980. Yesterday afternoon, a terrible event occurred within the Waldberger Mansion, more commonly known as Waldberger Hospital. Staff reported the disappearance of Dr. William Waldberger's daughters, Anna and Emma Waldberger. The police tried to interrogate Maria Morissette, the children's mother, who was found in a medically induced coma. Her doctor stated that the unknown illness the woman is suffering from caused, from caused the coma. Dr. Wahlberger is currently away on travel, as this report is being written. Crews continue to search the areas near the mansion. Our sources have informed us that frogmen are on their way to assist their search on the beach and rocky areas. The ones that will awaken the devil are ready for their operation. It seems like the girls are being prepared for some kind of surgical procedure. The ones that will awaken the devil be ready, are ready to be something. I already forgot what she said. I'm sorry, my phone always seems to go off when I'm recording. If I don't find them soon, something terrible might happen. I think it's already the happened. says Anna and Emma. Yeah, that's what we just read about. This is the people that we just read about. These girls are the same twins as the the ones that will awaken the devil are ready for their operation. It's oh, to be operated. The, says... the ones who will awaken the devil. Oh, morphine in the library, in the archives. That's very nice. An old typewriter. I can save my progress here. Oh. It's a globe. Oh. Elevator for... That's that's the... That's where I use the battery, right? Need the battery. <laughs> this is also a Resident Evil thing. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, like I said, this is like as if a Resident Evil fan or a bunch of Resident Evil fans just made a game. Which is great. Dining room hallway. Oh, fuck. I saw those armors. I saw them, don't worry. They're like actively trying to stop me. Dining room. A dining room. I sure hope this is not Chris's blood. The handle won't budge. There are symbols above the keyhole. Mm. And it is... Broken vase. Made into... New again? Broken vase, new ba... Oh my fucking god, you scared the fuck out of me. Maria Wilberger's diary. June 15th, 1967. I've started painting again. I was so afraid of the empty canvas, so intimate, so cold. Today, I managed to overcome that fear. I painted from one side to the other, my brush wet with crimson paint. I did it with courage. I did not know I had, in, I had it in me. The colors exploded 
on the canvas. The dead white became alive, and slowly the canvas and I started to forgive each other. I was so focused that William caught me by surprise. He grabbed me by my waist and kissed my nape. You look radiant, he whispered into my ear. I let my hair loose. The painting could wait. And then they fucked. <laughs> so he lives here now? Cool, man. <laughs> All right. Father, what happened? Ah, we meet again. Father, what are you doing here? Don't you see, child? I'm eating some soup. God feeds <laughs> my spirit, but I have to take care of my body. Oh my, what is this doing in my soup? Get rid of this thing, would you? I found some information about the twins. I think someone what? means to perform surgery on them. I see. There is an operating room on the West Wing. Who would do such a thing? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. A partial thread bolt made of steel. What? The bolt of steel was in his soup? The fucking... What? A... a okay. You said that operating room is on the West Wing of the mansion. That's right, the operating room. But to get there, you will need to restore the power to the electric lock that's on the door that connects that air. I'll see what I can do. God be with you, my child. It's so strange. He's just Oh, I'm just chilling here. Here, here this here's a here's the key to your you next to your next uh, task. God. You so he, said that He's like I'll Loki. God. He's like Loki uh helping me without Trying to help me. He's like, oh, I don't want to help you, but like, here's the solution to your problems. That's totally not suspicious. Oh, we're in the main hall. Why is this freaking wood so creaky? Let's open this door. Ah, I knew it. Do 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 do. Perception. Ah, get, get your tickets. A clip of nails. Yay. Oh, we got more reading to do. A maintenance crew lo logbook. The West Wing's second floor fuse has blown again, and I've run out of spares. These things are giving me a headache. All it needs to do is pass electricity through. I'm sure it, I could find something conductive to do the job in the meantime. Something conductive. Something conductive, like metal? So stupid. What? what was that a creepy sound? Oh look, a map right in the middle of the map of the thing. The East Wing Corridor. I think we've been here, right? No, we haven't. Maybe I should get rid of that. Yeah, I have 89 bullets. Why are you sliding? <laughs> it just slid next to me. Oh, I like that camera angle. Get that for the thumbnail. Alright, I need to pose. Oh, I can't see though in the dark. Aim down, girl. Okay. Well, that's gonna be the thumbnail, maybe. Potentially. Who knows? You know. I don't know. Oh, that's the elevator. I need something conductive. <laughs> I 
don't like that sound, whatever that was. Can't use that. Gonna need another uh, screw, I guess. Or an actual fuse. Oh, that's the eating room. There's a bunch of guts on the ground. Room 2E. Oh, nice. This is another safe room. Very good. It is now plugged in. A maintenance crew logbook. November 30th, 1030. Dr. Colin reported that no matter how many times he pressed the button to call the elevator, it didn't work. When I checked on it, I realized that someone had left an object blocking the elevator doors, stopping them from closing completely. The buttons... January 20th. The buttons to call the elevator from the basement and the first floor aren't working. The elevator can only be called from the second floor. So it's a one way only. That's a really cool uh, drawing, by the way. I, I did look at it. First aid kit. Ki ki kit treats major injuries. So this is a full... Full heal. So that's like the two herbs. What is that in the ground? It's sunking into the ground. Um, let's see if I can do anything else before we save. So that's a that's the elevator that they're talking about. It, it only goes one way, and this is close because I need a conducting thingy. I equals one. I mean, I don't know if the padlock can be used here. Like, how would it be used? I equals one. I don't have whatever that, that is. I This is like the third. This is like the third um, doorway that I find that has that. I don't know if this padlock will be used for anything anymore. I equals one. I equals one. The handle won't budge. There are symbols above the keyhole. Yeah, and I also see a asterisk on there. Five three eight. My padlock doesn't have. It has four numbers. I'm not sure. Anyway, I think we uh. We've overstayed our welcome. So this place is called the East, the West Wing Corridor. And I need a key to go into the... Ugh, there's so much to do. I'm excited though. I'm excited. I'm going to be playing lots of this. So I hope you... I hope you're in for it. Um, let's see. What do we have here? We have corroding thingies. Uh, the corroding thing. Uh, we have this thing. To hear the heartbeat. Um, the sulfur handle for gas and um, yeah maybe I do need to use this I mean it's not gonna be it's not gonna work <laughs> none of this is gonna work yeah I'm gonna need another thing um, an operating room. He said an operating room. The operating room right here. The West Wing hallway. That right there. That's the elevator. So yeah, so I need to go... I need to go through there. Or the dressing room. Have I been to the dressing room? I don't think so. Yeah, I need to find a way through that door. So I'll find a way through that door um, next time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please, as always, support this series if you're enjoying it. And uh, don't forget to leave a like. And please comment down below if you are enjoying it. Or if you have anything to say about the video. About what happened or what, how you feel about this, uh, this game so far. So let's save here. And I'm going to save it in, in my third file. Slot C. All right, let's see if she actually talks. What is going on here? This place is infested with nightmarish creatures. I need to be strong. I can't quit now. 
I've discovered that a surgical procedure is to be performed on two twin girls. I hope I can get to the operating room in time. There's something dark going on, something grim. Okay, bye-bye.